Hi there! This video will show you how to design on a packaging sleeve die line template. While adding your design to the die line template, it can be helpful to refer back to the packaging sleeve orientation guide to see how you should place your design elements. To show you how to add your design to a packaging sleeve die line template, let's use this PacMojo sleeve as a base and add some additional elements. As you can see, this box has logo and text elements on several panels. Packaging sleeves come in three styles, pre-glued, with adhesive, and flat. All are made from one paperboard, with sleeves with adhesive and flat sleeves generally produced as flat sheets. Upon request, score lines can be added to them. Let's begin by designing the exterior of the sleeve. Depending on the preferred orientation of your sleeve, the orientation of your designs will differ. For sleeves with openings on the top and bottom, designs on the front and bottom will remain in the same orientation, while designs on the left side wall will be rotated 90 degrees clockwise, and designs on the right side wall rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise. For sleeves with openings on the left and right sides, designs on the front and designs on the side wall to the right of the front will need to be rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise, whereas designs on the back and designs on the side wall shown on the left of the front will need to be rotated 90 degrees clockwise. For the interior of the sleeve, designs will be hard to see. Thus, we recommend that you don't include any important designs here and instead place solid colors or patterns. In our case, we will keep it a solid color. When you're done designing, double check it with the die line orientation guide to make sure that everything is in the correct location and orientation. To learn more about adding logos, vectorizing text, or embedding images, click on the link in the description or head to our website for more design tips. Happy designing!